Hey there guys, just another quick upload. This is with my golem deck, which what's against a hog miner. I guess trifecta, it turns out, but I don't know that from the start, and here we go. So like any sort of golem deck, my basic game plan is to build up a push off of a positive elixir trades and take a tower and then turtle until the end of the match or go for the three crown depending on how far ahead I am. Here we both drop our early stuff. Mine's a bit cheaper which is good because it means I can afford to spend a bit more and right here I'm pretty sure I'm going to come out ahead. This mine goes into the other lane. I think looking back I should have probably just ignored that and focused all my attention on the right lane. This might have been a much easier game. So here I'm just going to lightning his musketeer so I get some guaranteed damage on the tower. And his response, which is minion horde and goblins, I completely mess this defense up. I should have probably zapped the goblins and played my mega minion a little bit closer. However, he used his zap, so I know that unless he plays a distracting troop, I'm going to get two shots off. and. Plays his hog rider too far away to distract my guy. Usually hog rider is a hard matchup for this, but I think I do a pretty got good job here. All you really have to do is make sure that you place your tombstones reactively so that they can't just place the hog log, get rid of it all really fast. Here I kind of waste the log I think. I probably could have gone with a stronger play, but as he sends in the miner right as I place my mana minion, it ends up working out. Double elixir time's about to start, and this is where you can really start pushing with the golem. You can't do that before in an even match, especially against Hog Rider, unless you're at a severe elixir advantage, because it's just so expensive and they're going to counter it cheaply and run all over you but here I go I drop it he drops his minions in the back which is a very questionable play as it gives me plenty of time to prepare and here you'll see I'll drop the baby dragon to take those all out pretty quickly and then start as a soft tank for my push he's going to defend my golem pretty excellently right here with the cannon drop in the center to drag but it ends up me taking the tower. I probably should have played the tombstone there. I've noticed this is a problem with my gameplay. I kind of overcommit too much elixir, rushing when I don't need to. But here, everything ends up okay. I take his tower, and then to make sure that nothing sneaky happens in the last time, I place troops in the middle to gum things up. And then I'm going to go with the cheeky lightning at the end just to just to see if I can maybe snag another crown tower but that's it that's the game thank you guys for watching